So one of the videos I did a couple years ago, I showed a repair that we had to do on Curdy. Actually, I have two videos, two separate videos, where I've done repairs on Curdy, these Curdy bonding flanges. This is a probably the most widely used bonding flange drain that we have. Uh, what I noticed on those two repairs was that this white fleece, this fleece that bonds the membrane to it with thin set mortar, so you thin set, put the fleece on. What I noticed in those two repairs I did, the fleece actually came apart. It was almost like the white part had emulsified. I don't know if that's the right term, whatever it means. And I think it had something to do with the water. And what happened was water had seeped under the flanges uh, because this fleece just kind of delaminated. It all came out. I'll put the links to those videos down in the description so you have a better idea of what I'm talking about. So after I made those videos, a couple of you made the suggestion that I should do some testing, like maybe soak it under water for a long period of time and see what happens. Well, so I actually did that. And it's been a year, it's October. I remember uh, what I did is I filled up this bucket and I put a flange in there. Before I did that, I used Schluter All Set and I bonded some fleece to it. And I put it in a bucket. This flange in this bucket has been sitting for a year. I remember it was October of last year. It was right around Halloween. So here we go again and it just reminded me, I go, oh wait, yeah, it's been about a year. So I'm gonna go ahead and see what happened. All right, so what I have in here is this bonding flange. It, it's got some algae growing on it or something because it, it's just been sitting in here for so long. But here's, here's the bottom of the bonding flange. I used a, a piece of Curdy, and this is Schluter All Set that I used to do it, so I wanted to make it uh, as close to what Schluter wants as possible. So here's what the bonding flange looked like. What I had to do to get it to fit into the bucket was trim off uh, this outside part because it wouldn't fit down in this bucket. So I just, I just cut those off. That's why it looks like this. It's got a bunch of algae or some, I don't know what it is, some slimy stuff growing on it. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take this apart. Let's, let's see what it looks like. So this is much different than in those two videos that I did. This looks a lot different. Even though the fleece is peeling up pretty easy. Oh wait, here it goes. Actually, I have a spot right here. Looks like it's coming up. I'll show you, show you what happened in those other two videos. Um, so yeah, the fleece comes up. Um, it did take this one spot. Uh, in those videos though, the thin set stuck to the fleece and it all came up. And what it left was, yeah, this is, oh shoot. Uh, yeah, check this out. See, this is, this is what I've been afraid of with these Schluter flanges. Um, look what happens. Um, and this is to a lot lesser extent. It could be the time because this was only a year. The repairs that I did, one of the repairs was about two years old uh, because it was my own that's how I knew it was two years old the other one could have been five six years I can't quite remember it was a lot older and it was the one with the PVC flange but yeah this is what was happening in in those videos you see how it's showing the black now what that is is that's you know you see how this is all white uh, the black is actually the fleece that comes up so this is what I was showing and what happened in those videos when you watch those videos is that this all the white came up like and so the whole thing was just this black that showed and so basically this whole fleece just like disintegrated or whatever with the time underwater and the water had gone up under the fleece and got the mortar bed saturated and the one that I did with the PVC flange, it actually had efflorescence coming down the drain where water had leaked over and got in. Yeah, I, I was, uh, so let's see if I can peel a little more. Uh, it looks like it held pretty good, just, just besides that one spot. Cause yeah, this is what, this is what I, you want it to look like. You want it to look like, so there's kind of a close up of that fleece coming off of the ABS. And 
again, this has only been one year. Let me see what happens if I kind of can get the rest of this thin set peeled off. Again, Schluter all set. And yeah, so there's there's kind of a, a good idea of what what's happening. You can see how that white fleece is just peeling off. You can see, uh, let me see if I can change the exposure on this so you can get a little bit better look. So yeah, there's a there's a little bit closer look up of the white fleece still connected to the thin set here. This one was actually stuck. The ones in my videos, it all just peeled up really easy like this. And it was all black. It, see, this just has a few little spots of black. You know, I'd say maybe 15% of it shows the black showing. And I show, again, I showed these in these videos. You gotta go watch those videos because they're, they show it in, in real life when I'm taking it apart. But yeah, it's it's stuff like that where the the fleece, and that you see that that wasn't didn't take like prying or peeling up. It just kind of comes off. Anyways, that's that. Here's a new one. Here's an old one. Yeah, yucky water. Okay, so take it for what it's worth. That's information for you. It's definitely information for me. This test kind of already proved my hypothesis since I had already torn out a couple of these that were over two years old on job sites. Maybe you can back it up. Please share your experience. Our industry is gonna get better if we all start sharing experience because now that social media is here, we can actually document, show this, and learn from it. Where in the past, a lot of these, you know, if you were to tear out a five, 10 year old curdy shower, you just tear it out. Even if there's a little water damage, just replace it, move on. But if we can get this awareness out there, it can help educate others and maybe even Schluter will change their uh, white formula that, that they put on here because companies are always looking to innovate and get better too. Uh, Schluter has some great products. This is one area where I think there's a weak link. Uh, so we've been using these Flow FX traditional bonding flanges. They fit in the Curdy foam pans as well, but they have a much thicker fleece on them. The anti-wicking fabric that they put on here is much thicker. It's just a higher quality drain. It's, it's thicker. These flanges are very thin where uh, the Flow FX is, is, a, is a thicker ABS or PVC. It also has the mortar lock channels on the back side so it bonds into the system a little bit better whereas the shooter curdy is completely smooth so all in all i recommend uh, the flow effects traditional uh, but if you want to stick with shooter's warranty you actually have to use this so hopefully they improve on it but until the meantime we're going to be using these flow effects traditional bonding flanges so again thank you for being here if you would like to support our channel you can go to truework.com and buy yourself some new work clothes these are the true work work clothes I'm wearing. I'm wearing the T2 work shorts here. I'm wearing a new vest and a new sun shirt that they gave me fall. It's cool in the morning. It's warm in the afternoon. So, you know, it's nice to have layers when you work. You can just take your, your vest off and then now you're working nice and cool. This is a really lightweight shirt. If you'd like to support, use tilecoach15 at checkout at truework.com. That way you'll get 15% off your entire order and it will help support this channel as well. So thank you very much for being here. I'm really glad I could bring this information and I'm grateful that I have a warehouse, a shop that I can do these experiments in and just let a bonding flange sit in a bucket for over a year. You guys make that possible by watching these videos and supporting. So for that, I thank you. And before I go, I love you. I love being your tile coach and we'll see you on the next video.